I keep referring to my process for manifesting, reinventing myself, and more here in this realm of flow dreaming, which you are just maybe testing for the first time. Well, today I want to break it down and explain what this gorgeous and gosh, semi-magical process is. One I've been practicing for more than 20 years, practiced by tens of thousands of people. It's an emotional, energetic technique that helps you shape, manifest, program, heal so many things in your life. And it is so incredibly simple to learn. And that's what I want to do with you today bring it to you, let you absorb it, understand it, roll it around in your mind. If you're really ready to next level yourself in your life, then of all episodes of flow dreaming, you have found the right one. You're going to learn what flow dreaming is, how to do it, and you're going to start shaping your life the way that you want it to become as of today in about 45 minutes from now, you will have these tools for that. So you might feel inspired to grab a notepad or find a quiet place. You're going to go and flow with me. And even if you're not in a quiet place and you can't get a notepad, you're going to go into flow with me because I'm going to lead you there right now. Flow dreaming, still kind of woo-woo, is just what it sounds like. An escape into the world of woo. Also, a ride into you and how to feel happier wiser, and more self-aware in every way. It's your ultimate journey into personal growth and inner power. We'll explore ideas like how your energy self influences the kinds of opportunities you encounter, or how your personal growth can drive your business growth, or even how that feeling of being stuck is really always coming from something else. We just have to figure out what. That's right, we're a dash of woo-woo, a sprinkle of self-care, a heap of problem-solving and pattern-busting, and a giant cup of encouragement. We're going to relight so much passion, purpose, self-love, and confidence in you that you practically stagger. I'm Summer McStravick, your host, and welcome to Flow Dreaming. Still kind of woo-woo. So picture this. You wake up in the morning and you are filled with excitement and a deep sense of purpose. You know that today is going to be extraordinary because you've learned a secret to practically effortlessly manifesting your desires. You walk through life with a newfound clarity and magnetism and you're attracting opportunities, abundance, and deep, meaningful connections. Does this sound exciting? It's possible. I'm Summer, and uh, right now I'm going to take you into flow so you can experience for yourself this absolutely magical technique. I have been teaching it, as I indicated, for almost 20 years. I have seen tens of thousands of lives change and shift because of it. And now you are here and you have stumbled on it, or perhaps you already heard about it and you are refreshing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're about to learn something that is going to help you create what you want, not just once, but over and over in your life, in any area, whenever you want. When you experience flow dreaming today with me in just a few short minutes, you're going to feel instantly aligned, energized, relaxed, And you'll have literally sculpted energy, your emotional, energetic self, your spiritual self, whatever you want to call it, however you refer to it. And you'll be creating abundance, prosperity, whatever you want. Let's jump in. So our focus today in this episode, in the flow dreams that you'll experience, um, is to create really all good things in your life. As I teach you the technique, 
We're going to give it a focus because the technique can be used for many different things. But today it's to clear out and release anything that's stuck or not working and to create a ton of opportunities and prosperity around you. Does that sound good? <laughs> I hope so. I hope you're like, yes, ma'am. Tell me more. Real quick, before we begin, a couple of things that flow dreaming is not. It is a cousin of guided meditation. It is not guided meditation. It's a cousin of self-hypnosis. It's not self-hypnosis. It's not affirmations. It's very different. It has three components to it that come together to create something potent and special. By the way, just a little background. I haven't mentioned it in a long time on this podcast, but I got my start teaching people how to flow dream back when I worked for Louise Hay. I worked for her for a decade. She is the author of the book, You Can Heal Your Life. Maybe you have that book. It's kind of a classic in the field up there with so many others, uh, as well as with Dr. Wayne Dyer. Uh, worked with him for many years, was his producer, his co-host for five years on the radio. So for really two decades, I've been teaching people how to manifest how to level up, how to break through blocks and limiting thoughts. And I could go on about what I've done and who I've been, but you're probably not interested in that right now. More on it later, or you can just look me up and you'll find a very interesting and colorful history. Right now, though, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and do some manifesting with me. But first, I'm going to ask you to daydream. Daydream with me. You're going to follow the imagery that I give you and you're going to use your imagination. Then I'm going to ask you to feel some very specific emotions. Now, normally in life, we don't just call up emotions on demand, but in flow dreaming, emotion is the gas in the car. It makes your manifesting work. And last, you're going to naturally shift into what I call flow. You might lose track of time or forget you're even sitting here or walking or doing whatever you're doing. And you'll come back and say, wow, all that time passed. And where was I? And that felt like a, a few seconds. Those are the three components of flow dreaming. Flow, daydreaming, and deep emotion. Now, I'm going to talk about each of these in deeper detail after the, the flow dream after we do this together right now. So I invite you to take a moment. If you can safely close your eyes and drift off for a few minutes, please just experience this with me right now. Instant alignment, a flash flow dream. My eyes close and I take a deep breath, counting to three as I inhale. And again as I exhale. I begin to daydream. I daydream that I'm skating on an endless, solid lake of light. I feel myself glide, long, sweeping movements forward, perfectly balanced, feeling the breath of air against my cheeks, feeling a rush of energy and light surrounding me. I'm sweeping through the stars. I'm sweeping forward in perfect alignment with something powerful, potent, and strong. It's something luscious and gorgeous, something that feels so pure and good and right in every way. I feel this flow as a pull and a nudge and a sweep that's bringing me in toward my future. And I know, I can feel it. I'm on track. What I feel and create is happening here. Whatever I'm becoming, whatever my life is evolving and expanding into is right here, originating here. 
in this perfect, beautiful alignment and field of energy and light. And so I feel this beautiful arc of light that is my flow that I'm so aligned to sliding along. I feel how anything that's out of alignment is being nudged gently back in place. Going along with me now, everything coming back into smooth interaction and harmony in my life. I can sense this and see this around me like strands of light that became tangled, they're becoming untangled. And now merging back into my flow, back into this beautiful arc. While other strands simply disengage. I let go of them in my flow, released. I only align to what is best for me. Whatever isn't mine or isn't good for me or isn't positive in my life is not aligned. Those things are for other people, not me. I allow my flow to move me. I let go. It's effortless and easy, and I'm surrounded right now by the percolating beginnings of new wonderful things. Things that are being seeded into my life, like little geysers of light all around me. I also feel the rich, ripe fruits of those things that are already ready for me. Right there in my flow, I arc past them. I put out my hands to pick them, take them in. These shining fruits of opportunity, synchronicity, the right thing at the right time. I have everything I need before I ever need to ask. Good things come to me constantly. Oh, I'll take that, I say. Yes, please, yes, I'll take that. Thank you, thank you. I love this feeling of alignment and security and perfect direction. I sweep my arms across this space and I bring them back into my heart as I drink in this light all around me. Even now, as I pull back into my regular life, my regular consciousness, as I open my eyes, feeling absolutely realigned and wonderful. Ah, that's a flow dream that I call instant alignment. It's one of my shorter ones, like five minutes long. The idea is that it's meant to get you into an incredibly aligned and flowing space. You may have noticed a few things while you experience this. Maybe, yeah, one, it was very emotional. I asked you to imagine and see things, but I also asked you to feel things, very specific feelings, emotions. And maybe you did lose track of time for a bit or forgot where you were. You might've gotten lost in the imagery, lost in the feelings. And then suddenly maybe you were back aware of everything around you. Maybe the dog barked or a door slammed and you were in and out and back and forth. It's totally normal. The most important part is that what you felt, you actually just created in your life. You just encoded it into you forever. You as a being are a little bit more of those feelings that you just experienced. You're a little more receiving, a little more aligned, a little more bountiful, a little more filled with treasure. What you feel and what you are is what life and the universe directly responds to. Okay, huh? Now, what's next? I can show you a little bit more about each of these three areas of flow dreaming, the three components, as I call it, the three pillars. Um, Let's start with this idea that you're going to be creating an emotional, energetic blueprint for your future self. This is just like a blueprint for a house. I'm going to show you what this means and how to do it. And as a reminder, yes, if you can't already tell, this is a very deep and powerful technique. We're going to create this blueprint for your future, but 
This means you're going to be creating ultimately a life where you just attract abundance, where you wake up every morning filled with excitement, gratitude. You really start knowing that your desires are flowing to you almost effortlessly. And this is not just a fantasy. It's a reality that can be yours through the power of flow dreaming. I myself have experienced it as, as I've mentioned, thousands of my students over the years. So let's go ahead and talk about this next aspect that I call blueprinting. We're going to look now at your energetic blueprint and how it shapes your future and what it is. In fact, you'll learn not just what it is, but how you use it, how you sketch into this blueprint, your future, really, to manifest abundance or love, healing, time freedom, money freedom, anything, really. Right? And, and kind of what makes flow dreaming so special, this is why I have practiced it for so long. My whole life has been built via this process is that it's not just about manifesting material possessions or achieving some kind of external success. Those things come. But really, it's about aligning with your true self, right? Connecting with your deepest desires, creating a life that's in perfect harmony with who you are at your core. So if you're ready to experience that, (laughs) let's go. I'm going to assume, first of all, that you know what meditation is, and you probably noticed that flow dreaming is more energized, it's more emotional, and when you're in flow, you're asked, essentially, to become a creator, not an observer. But there are more differences. You see, when you're flow dreaming, you're actually reshaping your emotional, energetic self. That's where the treasure really lies. Imagine that you are building a house and you have all the physical materials around you, the bricks and the lumber and so on. And you've got the work crew, right? They're here to build it. But what if they have no plans? There's no blueprint. They just start building and you'd get a crazy house. Oh my gosh, five bathrooms and one bedroom and no kitchen. What kind of crazy haphazard lunatic house is this? Now think of it like this. Everything in life takes both physical action and non-physical action. And you already know how to do physical action. That is what the world skills us up in from day one. Learn how to write your ABCs, learn how to drive a car, learn how to get your first job, etc. Nobody teaches you about the non-physical action. They say, oh, that's hopes and dreams and religion and spiritual stuff, whatever. I don't know. It can't really, doesn't really affect us. Except it does. Except it really, really does. Well, the non-physical action that I'm teaching you through flow dreaming is what you use to create your energy blueprint. Non-physical action. Think about yin and yang. Think about up and down. Think about forward and backward. Everything in life has a basic dualism, physical work and non-physical work. Most of us have spent our entire lives focused on physically creating the safety, the money, the surroundings, the relationship, and almost zero work on creating the non-physical blueprint for all of this stuff. All right. Are you following so far? If not, by the way, I am super available. I may seem like a far off random podcast host, but believe me, I work, like I said, with so many students over so many years. I have made my own personal email address super available to the world. It's summer at flowdreaming.com. Look me up. Look up my website, flowdreaming.com and reach out. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're making this blueprint. How do we make it? Well, you're going to go into an energetically connected state. I call it flow state. And you're going to make it, program it through your emotions. Your emotions are a fabulous, fabulous tool. Now, every time you go into flow and work on this blueprint, 
By feeling emotions, you are going to be strengthening, in effect, programming your blueprint. You're going to do so by adding the emotions you're feeling into the whole being of you. Remember how in the one we just did, as soon as you felt <laughs> felt something, I said, now it's in you forever? Everything you experience is there. It's coded. It's in your memory. It's in your spirit. It's in your soul. It has literally become part of you. So when you're feeling emotions, they are becoming part of you. And what you become is what life responds to. We're going to go deeper in, right? Come down the rabbit hole with me all the way deep in. You will learn this technique, this process. It is so simple. It is so satisfying. <laughs> it's so fun to practice. Okay, let's get back to this. You are literally adding your emotions to the whole being of you. And think of it like going to the gym. You exercise your biceps and they will get stronger. You practice your emotional states and they become more a part of you, strengthened and bigger, literally changing your emotional composition as well as your energetic self. It's very important the kinds of emotions that you decide to add into you. And you know, many times uh, we're adding in emotions that we don't really want. We are practicing the emotions of worry, of anxiety, of insecurity, of fear, of upset, of doubt. We don't want to keep practicing those emotions. We want to practice and create, strengthen other emotions inside of us, right? Think, think of the ones that you usually practice sort of without thinking as the ones that just happen to you. They are oftentimes your responses, your reactions. Things happen. You respond. You react. I react with anxiety. I, I react with worry. I react with, oh, that's not good enough. I react with, gosh, I hope this works out. I react. I react. I react to other people. I react to their emotional situations and the way they talk to me or treat me. I react and react. But... Check it out. Responding, reacting, those aren't manifestational states of being because it means you're responding to things that have already happened. You're clearing up the mess. You're not instigating new things. You are reacting to what has already occurred. And often those reactions are not the greatest emotions, meaning that your future is reading whatever you're feeling. And if you're feeling not a great emotion, it's saying, oh, great, more not great emotions coming right up, man. It takes a little bit to wrap your head around this, but I want to introduce you to two words, pre-spawns, pre-act. These are the opposite of response and react. When you pre-act instead of react, you're actually feeling feelings for something that hasn't yet happened. For real. You are, in essence, sketching desires, sketching emotions into the blueprint in the form of these feelings. You're telling life, this is exactly what I want to make. I'm showing you via my feelings because this is how I intend to feel in my future. I want you to see it. It's going in the blueprint. Build off of this. Build according to this. Think about it. How else is life going to know what you want? It won't. Unless you show it the feelings you intend to feel. And you feel them. You pre-act these feelings. You feel the feelings before Anything in life has given you any concrete external reason to feel them. Okay, good point, good moment here to just give you some further resources. We're going deeper. There is more. This is going to be a longer episode because I really want to contain an entire teaching into this. All right. If you are already intrigued and you're like, tell me more, Summer, I'm loving this. 
I want to give you these resources. I have a library of over 200 recorded flow dreams. These are the very same emotional, energetic um, audios, these sort of guided flow dreams that I'm brought you through already. That one we just did, Instant Alignment. Well, I've got them on all kinds of topics, some of them very broad and big, like building confidence and, and, and a sense of, of excitement about your future. Yes, there is a flow dream for that. Yes, there was a flow dream for something as simple as finding a new home that's affordable. Yes, there's a flow dream for getting a better job, advancing in your career. Yes, there is a flow dream for healing and moving through a deep transition in a state of ease and inner power, knowing you're going in the right direction, all of these. You can find them at flowdreaming.com. You can also find them on my app, Flow Dreaming for Meditation and Manifesting. Uh, just open up your phone, go to your app store, and there it is. So you can check those out if you are curious. And of course, Shout out to Me School. <laughs> if you haven't encountered Me School, please go to my website, um, jump onto my email list, and I will send you all the information about it. I have a free kit there, a free set of videos that also teach you flow dreaming. If you just sign up for those, you'll get all the rest of my information too. And um, I hope to see you there. All right, so station break is over and I want us to continue. We are talking about your emotions and we are talking about how incredibly powerful they are, how powerful you are, how your emotions carve and shape your future. And maybe this is something you haven't really heard before because you've been used to hearing emotions as things that are troublesome. You need to, you know, take care of them, tamp them down, don't show them, medicate them, they get you in trouble. Yeah, and they can be that way. When you have things that are very powerful, they're like very intelligent children. <laughs> they can go in any direction. But your emotions are the most again, that word, powerful, part of you that there is. They shape your future. They show the world. They show everyone and everything around you. And they show you. They're your best hidden ally. Because they do show everything. This is where I'm going. It's what I want. They are what program your blueprint. So you've got this starting understanding of the deep and beautiful use of your emotions. And I know you're wondering, and you've got a bunch of questions. I don't have enough emotion. I feel depressed or flat as a pancake emotionally. Um, I don't trust my emotions. They get me in trouble. I understand all that. And we can go into that down the line. But for now, I want you to think of your emotions as beautiful crayons in a 150-pack crayon box. You got a color for every possible thing, every possible feeling. And you're going to start drawing some masterpieces with them. But flow dreaming is not just emotion, right? It's a unique blend of visualization, daydreaming, flow, intention, emotion, right? This powerful practice, it taps into the unlimited potential of the universe. It aligns it with your desires. And you're going to learn how to master this dance between your mind, your heart, and the flow of life, right? This is where miracles happen, where dreams become actual daily reality. Now, we just kind of were talking a few minutes ago about how usually life pulls our feelings from us, pulls emotions from us. We wait for life to give us reasons to feel the way we want to feel. But often life doesn't give us what we need to feel how we want to feel. Often life gives us terrible things and it pulls terrible feelings from us. Yet we keep waiting. If life changed, if this changed, if that changed, then I could feel the way I want to feel. But check it out. It's not really, truly anyone else's responsibility to give you a reason, the reason, the only reason to feel how you want to feel. 
Only you can give you permission to feel how you want to feel. Or you can keep waiting for life outside you to provide you those certain moments to give you those feelings. And as we've already talked about, life outside you, do you think it has a grand intention to fulfill that? People around you, is it their number one goal to give you the reasons to feel how you want to feel? Mm. We're talking about taking your power back from everything, taking it right back to where it belongs inside you. Flow dreaming turns the tables. We're no longer waiting for life to allow us to feel certain ways. Instead, we're telling our life, our future, our higher power, our higher self, what we intend to feel. And then we simply ask life, hey, line up whatever events, people, opportunities, etc. will align to this and reflect this, mirror this from me. This is what I mean by your inner blueprint. It is sculpted by how you feel now. We hold the power. You hold the power. Your blueprint is something that your future is constantly referring to. And normally, there's not much really intentionally sketched into it because we've been so busy responding to things and putting out fires or just feeling our own crummy responses to things that we don't want and didn't really ask for. I mean, haven't you ever felt like you finally get things that you want in life, but then they kind of break up or go away? It's a constantly moving horizon, We're always saying, as soon as I get this, as soon as I do that, then I'll feel. The thing is, the stuff outside us and our physical lives always aligns to what's inside us. So if inside of us is waiting and wanting and wishing and not happy, outside of us is waiting, wishing, wanting, and not happy, continuing, reflecting like a mirror. What this means is that if the inside doesn't match the outside, the outside stuff will keep washing away, needing constant replacement. You can make that money. You can make that success. You can make that relationship, but whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Inside hasn't matched it yet. Here we are, though, again, turning the tables. And I know we've been taught not to trust our feelings and doubt them, medicate them, make them go away. But I find it so interesting that so much of society is focused on controlling, stopping, or containing your emotions. And I think it does that because they're so damn powerful. And powerful things, well, there's always going to be outside forces that say control that. Control it. In fact, let's do an exercise right now. I want you to think about something you want, something you really, really want, a game changer. If you only had this, everything would be better. Let it come up in you. Maybe there's more than one elbowing for dominance. It's all right. Let one come up, let two. Now, many of us, We'll immediately think of a thing that we really need or want. A partner, money, a better job, our family getting along. But in each case, the thing that you've popped up in your head that you need leads to something else, a feeling. And it's true, maybe you went right to the feeling, but many of us don't. Many of us have already plotted plans. We have ideas of the things that we need that will lead to the feeling. And that's why we've picked those things, because we think it will lead to a feeling. Like we want a partner because we want to feel loved and valued and needed, like we're okay, like we're valuable. We want money so that we can feel safe, secure, or create a sense of freedom. We feel safe. We feel free. We want that peace because all of our needs are met. We pick money as the thing because we believe that money will get us to all of those feelings. I have a word for this. They're called emotional endpoints. And we, we plot and we plan and we choose all kinds of things to get us to those emotional endpoints. 
because what we really want are these feelings. Which also kind of means that if you think about it, maybe there's actually more than one thing that can get us to those feelings. Maybe it's not even the thing that you've currently got on your to-do list, your agenda, your wishes and hopes list. You really want the feeling. The thing you picked is just the most obvious thing you could figure out to get you to that feeling. This is really important. The path that you've chosen, the thing, maybe the right thing, the easiest thing, maybe not. What if instead... We just focus on the feelings themselves. What if we sketch into our blueprint something like, hey, I want to feel like I have freedom. I have choices. I feel safe. I feel comfortable. I have all the resources I need to live a carefree and comfortable life. I'm safe, full, and prosperous. Right? That's why most of us are scrambling around about our careers or jobs or trying to figure out the things that will get us. We want those feelings. We want those feelings. Now, what happens if you start feeling those feelings now in your flow via this process of flow dreaming? What if life around you scratches its head and says, we were getting all these other like worries and fears all the time from you, but now we're getting feelings of safety, security, financial freedom, time freedom. You just keep pumping this stuff out. What do we do with it? What does life typically do? It typically aligns to you. Negative people have a lot of negative things happening, happen to them, right? Positive people tend to have a lot of great things happen to them. You could call it one of the laws of the universe, if you will. I need you to start feeling these kinds of feelings. You might get a windfall of cash. You might get a new, beautiful, affordable home. Who knows what things life will align to you once it starts getting a new set of instructions coming from you. That is what we're going for. Now, we're going to keep going here. And we're going to talk next about daydreaming because you're like, I'm down with the feelings. I can do this. I'll do this in flow. Tell me what flow is. Tell me what, how to get there. All right. We're going to go into parts two and three of this gorgeous and beautiful process. But before we do, you know, I think you should go and again, like really get yourself into this. It's one thing to hear me talk and teach you. It's another thing to experience it yourself. So we're going to go ahead right now and do a flow dream that I call pure flow, pure flow. And when we're done, I'm going to teach you about daydreaming and finally about flow itself. Pure flow, a flow dream. Close your eyes and relax. Allow your abdomen to release. Allow your chest to loosen and expand. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, let your shoulders drop and your neck loosen. Rolling your neck, releasing your jaw, relaxing your brow, moving into a state of pure imagination and daydreaming into flow. Imagining a beautiful swirling light surrounding your body, circling, dancing, and sparkling. Seeing yourself standing in the center, allowing the energy 
to rise and fall and dance around you, rippling and curling, and now leading, shooting forward straight in front of you, a beautiful stream of soft light and energy, moving in a direction that feels so right and so perfect you're just called to follow, to let yourself billow forward softly in its direction, being carried, being drawn into this direction that feels absolutely perfect, filled with light, filled with healing, filled with renewal, filled with everything positive and good for you, your highest self, your soul, dancing with the pure and most high energies of all life, of all consciousness, of all universes, of source itself, tapping in, spreading out, feeling yourself spreading out, flying, strong like a bird, lifted, carried with a beautiful wind of source, wind of God, wind of flow, carrying you into your most perfect and right destination, everything happening next in your life in total and pure alignment, pure perfection. What you need is right here, already in position, purely flowing purely flowing. Now you feel yourself returning to that beautiful, wondrous place, standing in a gorgeous spot, perhaps filled with green grasses and nature, a gorgeous starry blue purple sky above you filled with stars, stars so low you could reach down and hold them with your hands, beautiful diamonds and the grass and greenery grows up below your feet, each one filled with life and energy moving, the energy behind all things. Here you are, and you feel nothing but gratitude. Gratitude overflowing and pouring from you, thankful that such a place exists. Thankful that there is a place where you can release the burden, put down the fears and worries, and just know there is so much in your life working on your behalf, working to even things out, smooth things out, working to give you what you need, working on your behalf day in, day out, every minute, every second, offering you over and over abundance, everything that you require. You feel right now, you sense exactly what's happening in your life that's going so well, so right. Who do you love? Who's in your life? Who are you lucky to have? Who do you love with all your heart? You feel what else you're grateful for. Perhaps something at work or your career. Perhaps that you were gifted with talents, abilities, or good health, intelligence. Gifted with this life, with the family and the friends that you have. Gifted with all the good things that have already arrived for you. Say thank you. Thank you. I'm overwhelmed by your love and generosity that all of these beautiful things are already here for me. And the feeling comes up and it pours, pours out. Thank you. You're right, I already have it. And if I have this, I can have other things. You're right, here it is. And there is even more pouring in constantly. Such as this next thing, this one other thing that I'm, I'm looking for right now. I'm, I'm going to feel it and I'm going to create it right now. I can sense it, this one thing that I just really want to pour into you. 
pour into this goodness, into this strength, into this action, into this vibrancy. And this is the feeling. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I need now. I'm feeling it right now. This particular emotion, perhaps safety, love, healing, abundance, opportunity. I choose it now and I'm feeling it. I have this flow. Do you hear me? Will you take this from me? Will you expand it and support it? Yes, here it is. And I feel you reaching for it from me, taking it into you, absorbing it into all that is source, all that is coming up my whole life, my future self. I feel the acknowledgement. Yes, let's do this. You want this? Let's make this here. Here you go. And right now I feel the shift. What I'm asking for is happening. What I'm feeling is here. Bright, beautiful, and mine. I reach forward and I close it in close to my chest, bringing it in close to my heart, receiving it and taking it and allowing it to fill me and complete me. Yes. So beautiful. Letting it wash through me. Absolutely in. All through me. Now holding that feeling, I find myself coming back, returning, back from flow, ready for a beautiful day. And I open my eyes. Uh, I'm okay. I know this is unexpected, but uh, when I recorded this episode, I completely forgot to take a break in the middle. And I do have kind of something I want to share with you, something kind of exciting. So we're going to take a little, you know, a few seconds here, and then we'll come right back to the show. Hey, we don't have sponsors for this show yet, but we do have our parent company, my company. It's called flowdreaming.com. If you are curious about exploring your full potential, there are over 250 audio meditations and flow dreams and courses there that can completely reshape your world. So take a quick jump over and check out flowdreaming.com. And with that, thank you so much for joining us. All right, if you guys are good, we're going to keep chugging along because yes, this is long, but I, it is comprehensive, right? You're getting the entire kit and caboodle <laughs> That's such an old saying, right? You're getting the entire kit and caboodle here. The whole technique laid out in front of you. It is worth its weight in gold. All these years, I've never charged to actually teach flow dreaming what flow dreaming is. I believe it is such an important breath of life. And I'm doing it again here because Every, you know, 50 episodes or so, I will do a, here is the basis, the genesis of all my teachings, all of my philosophy. And I thought it was time. It's been a good 50 episodes. It is time to share with you once again, because every time I do, I'm adding something to it from my own continual learning about this gorgeous, uh, spiritual, energetic, emotional, psychological practice. It just keeps expanding. So thank you for sticking with me. You just went through that flow dream, right? Pure flow. And again, it was similar to instant alignment, but it took a little longer. And maybe you sank in a little deeper and maybe you noticed a couple of things that were different. Like, huh? Why, why do I, why did you ask me to see all this stuff? Is that important? Is, are the visuals important? Well, I want you to see how daydreaming 
is really the second pillar of flow dreaming and how it connects you deeply and fully into your manifestational flow space. And therefore, you will realize just how easy and intuitive this is. It is so much easier than meditation in my estimation because you already know how to daydream, right? Think of flow dreaming as a kind of cosmic GPS. It's guiding you on a journey of alignment. And this GPS is taking you through a landscape. The landscape is your daydream. We daydream to get into flow state. That is how and where you radiate your emotions. I call it guided daydreaming. I mean, we daydream all the time, right? It's kind of hardwired into us. It's part of us. It's a lot like lucid dreaming, you know, the kind you do at night when you wake up in a dream. Except we're doing this when we're awake. We're letting our imagination go. And yet we're not losing track of the fact that we are there. In a normal daydream, you kind of lose track, but not now, not when we're doing this. So I ask you, you know, see whatever imagery pairs well with the emotions that you're out there making. Now, if you're doing them with me, like the ones you've just experienced, I am sharing with you what to see. There's no, it's not set in stone what you should see. It's just what I'm happening to see. And I'm sharing it with you because I think it might lead you to better at further enhance the emotional feelings that you're getting to. But eventually, just like with any daydream, something kind of fun happens. You forget you're daydreaming. You lose track of time. You forget where you're even sitting. You just, you're one second aware that you're imagining stuff and the next moment you're off, you're gone. The outside world has faded off. It's like a magical layer. Like when you surface from sleep, And you kind of wake up and you kind of feel like you're coming up to the surface, but you hit the snooze button and then literally it can feel like you're submerging again. That's the feeling when you shift from, I know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. I'm listening. I'm listening to, whoa, I'm gone. I am daydreaming. It's really similar. And when that happens, you know where you've gone? It's called flow. And that is the special little secret sauce here. Flow state is something that people didn't really talk about when I first started teaching it back in 2004 and first practiced it with others in 2001. Nobody really talked about flow. I mean, it was a a thing in psychology. But now it's seeped out into the world. I hope I had a little bit of a little something to do with that. That would make me feel very pleased (laughs) at the end of my days to know that. Let's talk about the several definitions of flow though, right? We're going to start with the most simple. Flow is a psychologically recognized state where you're just so engaged in something and so aligned to that thing that in essence, you're in a state of what I call zero resistance, right? You're the person who is so focused and involved that maybe you forget you've been writing for three hours straight, or you forget you've been working on that science problem or that work problem for the last two hours. You, you have your most perfect game ever. You're, you're in a state of optimal output, total flow with what you're doing. And the results are immense. But when we get to this state, it usually is kind of an accident. We fall into it, slide into it unaware. It happens to us. It's nothing we intend. And again, this is natural. Psychology, Dr. Mihai Chita Mihai was the first psychologist to really pinpoint this state, explore it. And of course, he explored it in the realm of physical things. In flow dreaming, though, we say, hey, what you apply to physical can also be applied to soul, spirit, and heart, to non-physical. What happens if we apply flow to that? Then what happens? I would like to get in a state of total non-resistance, total ease, total flow, total highest performance, optimal output, ultimate connection with my highest self, with the universe. 
and I want to make it happen on demand, not just accidentally. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Can you see why I'm obsessed? I'm flow obsessed. This is what I mean when I say flow has a bigger or more spiritual aspect to it. When I say you get into a state of no resistance, I want you to imagine that you're a bird flying in the sky. Now, when you move with the currents, with the wind, you're lifted. You don't do much work and you go so much further and so much faster. You are allowing something and natural direction that has no resistance. It's full of ease and flow. It's pushing you. The wind is literally holding you. You are in it, moving forward. That is a smart little bird. But sometimes we fly against the current. We struggle. We beat our wings and we don't get anywhere. We struggle so hard. The same effort that we would have put toward being in flow and flapping our wings gracefully, we, we use to just try to barely hold position. You're out of flow. You're in a state of resistance. Imagine everything in life and the universe has this natural positive direction as well as this natural resistant direction. One of freedom and flow, one of obstacles and shortages. Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be aligned to? I'm really simplifying this. I, I speak volumes about it. Like I mentioned before, me school, we spend hours, days going into this, really feeling it. You will know your flow. You will know that state of, of ease and lack of resistance in your life. You will know that place of epic manifesting potential. But that's like 48 hours of, of, of teaching. <laughs> and I've only got you for what? Maybe an hour? <laughs> so I'm going to do my best here to continue to describe it. Like to at least tease you enough to want to explore it more so that you can see the power that's in it. Whether you and I ever work together or not is irrelevant. You know, in my world, if I've impacted you and someday I'm looking down from the pearly gates and saying, <clears throat> I affected all these people. I, I feel like I'm going to be good. <laughs> I'm going to be happy. I'm going to feel like I did my job, did what I came here for. So here you are. You're in your, uh, you're in your flow. And I want to just continue to expand this definition because, again, it can get a little deep, right? There is there's the psychological interpretation of flow. There is this idea that flow is a state of lack of resistance, that there is a natural current of life. Let's also imagine that as we move forward in our lifetimes, all things, all people, time itself is in a flow. Not just one flow, one large flow, right? All that is, the one. But all the tiny rivulets, the little streams within that flow, the individuality Every cell in your body, your body is a flow, but every cell in your body has its own flow, its own trajectory, its own beginning point and ending point where it then changes and evolves and the information carries on in some new way. And we all can be flowing on this path of least resistance, like everything. Like the earth spins around the sun, it doesn't fight its way around it is right. It is meant. The universe, you know, the universe is continuing to expand. Where is it expanding into? I have no idea. My little puny human brain can't fathom that, but it is expanding and it's not fighting its way to do so. When I was born, I don't feel there was resistance. As I grew older, my body didn't fight itself and say, no, you can't. We're going to go backwards for a while. You were 13. Yeah, we're going to go back to five again. And then maybe 12. Nah. There's a natural flow. It just happens. It's the flow of time. Think of it like an arrow of direction. Nothing gets in its way. Nothing stops it. 
meaning there's no resistance. What if, what if that concept of no resistance is a kind of natural phenomena, a, a universal phenomena? What if it's something you can tap into, not just with your physical self and physical things like the earth and your body and birds, but your emotional self, your spiritual self, your deep inner being, the informational quantum you? What if that is also flowing in a state of pure lack of resistance, pure flow, a right direction, a perfect direction, a direction that's clear cut sound, glowing, saying constantly, fill me up with stuff, fill me up with information, just fill me up. That is the ultimate understanding of flow. And the coolest part is, it's not just you that has this. It's every single thing in our universe. Your friend has this flow in their life. Your mom has this flow. Your employer, the workplace, groups of people that come together in workplaces and institutions have this flow. Continents and societies and cultures have flows. If a singular individual can have a flow like this, if the earth itself can have a direction like this, so must all things. Ah, Now we're delving into philosophy. But I just want you to see it so you understand the biggest understanding of what this is that you're dipping your toes into. It is there and it is for you. Now, when you go into flow, what you are saying is, I want to go into the place where everything is easy, unresisting, rewarding, I want to go there where a little effort yields the most rewards, where when I imprint something into my blueprint, a feeling, this is who I want to become. There is something around me that I'm in a state of alignment. You guys have heard so many people use the word alignment over time. It's like one of those ridiculously overused personal growth words. Alignment for me means I'm in flow. I'm where I need to be, doing what I need to do. Everything I need surrounds me. Call it divine timing. Call it divine direction. Call it flow. Doesn't mean it's without obstacles. Sometimes we have lots of obstacles around us that we flow through, that we move through as part of our growth, development, keep things interesting, folks. But ultimately, I see myself and everyone else's flow almost like braids of light moving through the universe. Me and my family, or my family and I, proper English, (laughs) I have a flow, my son, my daughter, my husband, we're all intertwining all day long. We've woven together my ease-filled direction, my natural growth-filled soul direction has decided to link up and align with them for a while, and they with me. Someday, they may part. I hope not. Someday, of course, we're all going to part from one another. But it could be something simple, right? My, My... person at the gym that I see and work out with sort of off and on just by accident, our flows, our lives are intertwining, they're touching, and then they depart. Now, when you're creating your blueprint and you're putting your emotional endpoints out there, what you're actually also saying is life, all this physical stuff has to align to me, who I am. I am making myself into something. I am making myself be the the point of reflection. Imagine you're walking into a house of mirrors. I know it's crazy, huh? Who's been to the fair in the last couple of years? Remember the house of mirrors? You go in there and you see yourself everywhere and supposedly get lost. Unless, of course, you're smart enough to look at the floor. But you don't do that because you're having fun. Imagine if life and everybody else around you were mirrors. They're reflecting you. It's sort of like a matrixy uh, kind of understanding, a holographic universe understanding if you're into physics. But they're reflecting what you are. They can't reflect back something that you aren't. They reflect what you are. 
You encounter them and they have to absorb that and respond to that. That is alignment. Meaning, when you are shaping yourself, when you are shaping your inner being, you are giving instructions, ultimately, to everyone and everything around you. And those instructions are simply, this is who I am. Let me show you who I am. Check out what's in my blueprint. I am strong. I am healthy. I am fearless. I am well taken care of. I am well regarded. I don't have crummy people in my life. I don't have crummy situations. I don't have fear in my life. I don't have anxiety. I am well and content. Now, what happens if everyone and everything around you, as you flow forward into your future, all those minutes and hours and days, right? Chunks of time. Imagine like waves on the beach coming and hitting you, but they're hitting this from you. They're responding to this. They're reflecting this. Things in your life will change and they will change permanently because you have changed. It's not like it used to be where you'd build something and it wouldn't fit and it would fall apart and fall down, right? The proverbial lottery winner who loses all their money in two years. Because why? They didn't align. Yes, they ran into the money. They had an opportunity to get in alignment with it, but they didn't. Inside was still not there. So, of course, the outside can't hold. This, my darlings, is the heart of flow dreaming, the heart of of living a highest level life that I, that I have found. And like I've mentioned to you, I have been rewarded or honored by life to have had some incredible teachers to synthesize a lot of things together in my knowledge, in my thinking. I have worked with, oh God, the list is just so long. I feel braggy when I talk about it, but I realize, I mean, you can look me up. You guys look me up, uh, summer flow dreaming about summer. You'll see. I know I would not have had all of this education from the world had it not said we're aligning to you, something in you, you need this. And I hope it's because I ended up actually becoming a teacher actually devoting my life to this, hopefully changing you and thousands of other people, however many want to listen, right? I'm here. This is you flow dreaming. This is you changing. This is you aligning. This is you creating a blueprint for yourself. You know what you should be hearing ultimately from all of this? You are incredibly powerful. Life does not have power over you. You have power over life. You have the ultimate power to say, this is how I do or don't respond to everything around me. This is how I do or do not go through everything around me. This is the being that I'm going to show up as. And I challenge everything around me to reshape itself, a kaleidoscope of colors settling into a new pattern around me. This is flow dreaming. You can tell I'm passionate. I just don't know of a better way to grow that inner power, to unshackle yourself, to solve so many things. Whether it's healing from your past or from abuse or disappointment or heartbreak or lack of trust, whether it's feeling that angst that I don't know if I'm doing the right things in my life or I went for all the right things and it still didn't feel enough and I'm still not there in my heart, what I can really be, who I can be, all of this stuff falls into flow dreaming. And that is, that's why I hope you will take this. If you have lasted to this point, I think you might just take this and run with it and think to yourself, huh, this is something maybe I should start to do and think about a bit more because I want that. If you say that, you, you will get that. You will get this from Flow Dreaming. So with this, I think I'm going to wrap up our teaching today. Lengthy. This was practically an entire seminar in itself. 
Um, and if you don't know, I have over 36 other courses that I have recorded for you, put out there for you on everything from manifesting success to creating new friendships to transitioning to connecting to your higher source, all the ways I use this principle, these philosophies. Check them out, flowdreaming.com. Um, and otherwise, again, reach out, look at my library, listen to more of these podcasts, wherever you're at. I have so much free content. It's ridiculous. And of course I have opportunities and ways for you to come and reach, reach out to me, you know, and say, I need to go to the next step. I'm ready. And I love that too. Cause when I get somebody who's ready, Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> we get so much done. Anyway, my love to you. I really hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for sticking with me as long as you have. Um, and or if you came back and you had to pause it and finish later, still hats off. You have just been exposed to something that uh, whether or not you ever practice it again, it's still now in you. It is in your being. It's in your core. It will be there forever, for eternity, which is kind of amazing. It's like an awesome thought. Get more stuff like this inside of you, inside of your being, inside of your soul, in this life or anywhere else. All right. I'll talk to you all next time in what will certainly be a much shorter, shorter episode of Flow Dreaming. Still kind of woo-woo. And as usual, mm, please consider me school. I would love to get my hands on you and, and start affecting these changes. I am that confident in this process, I have thousands of um, students and hundreds of testimonials I can share with you. Uh, so reach out to me, check out Me School at my website, or just shoot me an email or even set up a call with me. I am very, very available. Take care, everybody. Lots of love. Hi, friends. If you enjoyed this episode, then I'd like you to consider what having private mentoring with me would be like. You see, I accept a small number of people each year for private coaching. The question is, what do you want to make? Who do you want to become? We can program and shape any area of yourself or your life. Imagine right now what you would be doing if you had no fear. Imagine how your life would look if there were no patterns and blocks repeatedly tripping you up. Imagine if you were fully healed in your heart, body, and mind. Imagine if you also had a map to your success and you could follow it with ease and flow. Well, I look into you and into your life and I feel where you're going and know where the road is open and where it's blocked. I help you make the very best decisions based on what's coming up for you. I'll also show you exactly what I do day to day to succeed in my personal and business life. And we can create a copycat plan for you. So if you're game, you can fill out an application on my website for private coaching. Just go to flowdreaming.com slash coaching. And then let's talk. I mean, the time to go for it is now. So let's just get this started. Just reach out to me at my website, flowdreaming.com, and I'll get right back with you.